An accessory bone or supernumerary bone is a bone that is not normally present in the body, but can be found as a variant in a significant number of people. They pose a risk of being misdiagnosed as bone fractures on radiography. Wrist and hand. Accessory bone prevalence on the right, R, and left, L. OS ulna styloidium 1.5% R, 2.4% L. OS central 1.3% R, 2.1% L. OS trapezium secundarium 0.5% R, 2.1% L. OS styloidium 1.2% R, 1.2% L. OS radiali externum 1% R, 0.9% L. OS triangulare 1% R, 0.9% L. OS paratrapezium 0.3% R, 0.9% L. OS capitatum secundarium 0.8% R, 0.3% L. OS hypotrichetrum 0.5% R. OS hypolunatum 0.3% L. OS epilunatum 0.3% R, 0.3% L. OS ulnare externum 0.3% L. OS pisiform secundarium 0.3% R. OS epitrapezium 0.3% L. OS vesalianum manus 0.3% L. OS ulna styloidium. The OS ulna styloidium is an ulnar styloid process that is not fused to the rest of the ulna bone. On X-rays, an OS ulna styloidium is sometimes mistaken for an avulsion fracture of the styloid process. However, the distinction between these is extremely difficult. It is alleged that the OS ulna styloidium has a close relationship with or is synonymous with the OS triquetrum secundarium. OS central. The OS carpi central, also briefly OS central, is, where present, located on the dorsal side of the wrist between the scaphoid, the trapezoid and capitate, radially to the deep fossa of the capitate. The bone is present in almost every human embryo of 17 to 49 mm length, but then usually fuses with the ulnar side of the scaphoid. Sometimes it fuses with the capitate or the trapezoid. The literature also refers to an OS central at the palm of the carpus, but this existence is questioned. The OS carpi central appears many other primates as an independent bone. In chimpanzees, the bone fuses with the scaphoid first after birth, while in gibbons and orangutans this occurs first at older age. Ankle Accessory bones at the ankle mainly include OS subtibiali, with a prevalence of approximately 1%. It is a secondary ossification center of the distal tibia that appears during the first year of life, and which in most people fuses with the shaft at approximately 15 years in females and approximately 17 years in males. OS subfibulare, with a prevalence of approximately 0.2%. OS trigonum, further described below, may also be seen on an ankle x-ray. Foot Bone prevalence Sesamoid bones Sesamoids at the metatarsophalangeal, MTP, joint of the great toe always present. Sesamoid of the second metatarsal 0.4% Sesamoid of the third metatarsal 0.2% Sesamoid of the 4th metatarsal 0.1% Sesamoids of the 5th metatarsal 4.3% Sesamoid of the interphalangeal, IP, joint of the great toe 2 13% Ossicles OS trigonum, not visible in this dorsoplantar projection, 7 25% OS peronum up to 26% Accessory navicular 221%. OS intermetatarsium 113%. OS supranaviculare, also called the talonavicular bone 1.03.5%. OS calcaneus secundarium 0.67%.
OS Sopratillary 0.22.4% OS Vesalianum 0.11% OS Talatibiali 0.5% Accessory Navicular An accessory navicular bone, also called OS Tibiali externum, occasionally develops in front of the ankle towards the inside of the foot. This bone may be present in approximately 2 to 21% of the general population and is usually asymptomatic. When it is symptomatic, surgery may be necessary. The Geist classification divides the accessory navicular bones into three types. Type 1, an OS tibiali externum is a 2-3 mm sesamoid bone in the distal posterior tibialis tendon. Usually asymptomatic. Type 2, Triangular or heart-shaped ossicle measuring up to 12 mm, which represents a secondary ossification center connected to the navicular tuberosity by a 1-2 mm layer of fibrocartilage or hyaline cartilage. Portions of the posterior tibialis tendon sometimes insert onto the accessory ossicle, which can cause dysfunction, and therefore, symptoms. Type 3 a cornuate navicular bone represents an enlarged navicular tuberosity, which may represent a fused type 2 accessory bone. Occasionally symptomatic due to bunion formation. OS trigonum The OS trigonum or accessory talus represents a failure of fusion of the lateral tubercle of the posterior process of the talus bone. Is estimated to be present in 725% of adults. It can be mistaken for an avulsion fracture of lateral tubercle of talus, shepherd fracture, or a fracture of the steta process. Other locations Neck Nodules in the posterior margin of the nuchal ligament form bone tissue in approximately 11% of males and 3-5% to in females after the third decade of life, and may then be regarded to be sesamoid bones. Shoulder an OS acromiali forms when any of its four ossification centers fail to fuse. These four ossification centers are called, from tip to base, preacromian, mesoacromian, metaacromian, and basiacromian. In most cases, the first three fuse at 15-18 years, whereas the base part fuses to the scapular spine at 12 years. Such failure to fuse occurs in between 1% and 15% of cases. It rarely causes pain. Vertebral column An Oppenheimer ossicle is found in approximately 4%, range 1 to 7%, of individuals. It is associated with the facet joints of lumbar spines. It usually occurs as a single, unilateral ossicle at the inferior articular processes but can also occur at the superior articular processes. Knee The fabella is present in 10% to 30% of individuals. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.